So guys, for the first step, you wanna get into this screen. Now to get here, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options, which will now take us to here. Now once you're on this, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. If you do not see command prompt in this list, then you want to click on see more recovery options. Then it should appear right here. So you want to click on command prompt, and now this will come up. And now once you're on this, you want to type in disk part, click on enter. Now once this comes up, you want to type in list space disk, click on enter again. And now you want to type in select space disk space zero, click on enter. And now you want to type in list space partition, click on enter again. And now you want to type in select space partition space one, click on enter. And now if for some reason you get to error right here, then you want to type in select partition two. In my case, I've got no error, so I'm going to stay on select partition 1. And now you're going to type in assign space letter equals capital S colon. Click on enter again. And now you're going to type in exit. Click on enter. And now you're going to type in bcd boot space c colon backslash windows space forward slash s space s colon space forward slash f space uefi. And then click on enter, wait for this to load. And now once that's been done, for the last command, we're gonna type in exit, click on enter again. And now you just wanna continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.